So Matt, I'm working on a new web app for lonely people. Okay, what does it do? What's it called? It's called Words with Cats. Now, Words with Cats, it's a brilliant, brilliant name. Um, now, I want to show an icon on my phone's home screen. Someone launches this, and I also want to be able to show like an, an icon or some visual in a splash screen. Of a Is cat that reading a dictionary or something? A cat reading a, you were you're a thought leader. Yes. How can I get that done? So that's, so Chrome now has the add to home screen stuff. So basically, if you meet a certain set of criteria, um, when a user is basically engaged with your web app, it will come up with a little banner saying, hey, would you like to add this to home screen? So you basically need to be on HTTPS, you need to have a service worker, and you need a web app manifest. And then after that, it's basically, depending on the user coming back a couple of times, then it will show the banner. Um, so the web app manifest is the main thing that you need um, to enable all of this, along with the other bits. But the manifest is just a JSON file at that point. Cool, so it's just a JSON file. Is this a Chrome only thing? No, no, this is all the standard space. So basically any browser can look for this link rel tag that links to your manifest JSON file. At that point they can pass it and it's just gonna be, you have to have certain things to find for then browsers to take it all out. Right, so the manifest lets me customize my icons. What other, what other stuff can I configure in there? So you can define short name, which will be the text underneath your icon that you'd normally see. Theme color, which Chrome uses as like the URL color along the, the URL bar. Background color is for the splash screen. So if you have that at home screen, they click on it, it will launch. And basically while Chrome's loading, what you can do is show a splash screen that's like solid color and then have an icon on top of it along with the text. Um, so background color does that. You've got an array of icons. So again, depending on what the browser wants to use the icon for, it will just pick the best size for it. Start URL is super awesome. What that is is basically, you remember back in the day we used to have our time screen in Chrome where it's like hidden in the menu? Yeah. So what that would always do is whatever page you are on, that is where you will get pointed to when you click on the icon from the home screen. Start URL lets you define where that is now. So if, you're, if someone was in the middle of a blog article, clicked on our home screen, now you can say, actually, just go to the home of the blog. Um, then you've got display. Display is basically, rather than launching in browser mode, you can sit there and say, actually, I want it to go full screen. Oh, so you can launch it full screen the same way that a native app, native app might look like, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, but alongside that, there's also in the spec orientation. So you could theoretically lock it to portrait or landscape. Oh, cool. So for games, that's particularly useful. Yeah, like if you want to do like force two like thumbsticks. Um, and yeah, the nice thing, especially I was going to say with the start URL, you can actually then add the query parameter. So then you can like track how many people are using it. Ah. So like home screen equals true, um, and then analytics will just show you. Cool. So that's pretty much the bulk of it. Nice. Is there, if I wanted to like validate that I've got um, a legit manifest, is there a tool I can use for that? Yes, someone has built a web app manifest validator. I think DevTools were also going to do it so you could like force a download of the manifest and get DevTools to pass it. I believe we mentioned as much in Totally Tooling Tears. Um, but I haven't actually used it yet myself. And admittedly, if you don't use something like that, it's kind of hard to figure out whether it's working or not. Yeah. So those are well worth checking out. OK, so we've talked about the web app manifest, um, the manifest validator, that's yep. what we're checking out. DevTools is looking at it. Um, are there docs on this available as well? The best thing to look at is Paul Kinlan's blog post. It covers example manifest, how to add it to the HTML page, and then how to debug it as well. So that's probably the best bet. Sweet. And plus it's in Web Starter Kit and a whole other host of the projects that we do.